If you didn't watch the last video, you probably don't know what the hell that was about. And uh, if you did, and you're one of those people that were easily cringed, uh, Chase, cringe, Chase, cringe-worthy intro. There are thousands of other YouTube channels. There are thousands of other Moto Vlogger channels. Take your ass on to somebody else if you don't like my intros. Now that we've got all the easily cringed people offended, let's continue the video. Roll the intro. What's going on everybody? Little public service announcement. Uh, this is the Chase on Two Wheels YouTube channel. I am a very weird person and I enjoy making my videos. So I've always made the videos I like making and want to make and I will continue to make the videos I like and want to make regardless of the YouTube comments. So if you're one of those people that don't like my content, I totally understand and we can part ways and I won't care. So for the rest of you people that enjoy my content, thank you so much for being here and hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification button. You are the type of people that I want on my channel. Now, uh, if you saw the title and we're saying goodbye to the Daytona, uh, a lot of you guys might be curious, Chase, what the hell? Like, first we hear that you get loaned to Daytona. After a while, you tell us you're buying the Daytona, and then we don't see it for a while. Well, I've, we gotta talk about that. Now, granted, I know a lot of you guys are new to this channel, and I appreciate you stopping in, so let's catch up on my motorcycle situation. As you can see, there's a couple in the garage. This one's the Rake Bike Rebuild motorcycle. Built that up from absolutely nothing. This is a Triumph Street Triple. Uh, it is a loaner bike from actual Triumph. Those guys are dope. This was the last loaner bike that I got from Triumph. That is a 2017 Daytona 675R that I did actually purchase. That's my R6 back there and that's my good old trusty WR250. So, with the Daytona 675, I did buy it from Triumph. So, before I bought it from Triumph, this little, this kind of weird thing happened. I'm gonna show you a clip, uh, and then we'll talk about it. What are you doing? Why are you acting like that? Huh. Weird. Back out into the heat. Into the heat. You can keep all your. Whoa. That's not cool. So, as you can see in that video, uh, there's this weird, like, idle issue. The bike won't hold idle. I don't really know what that problem is, but uh, that started happening before I had to actual, actually send Triumph the money to get the bike. So I contacted Triumph and I'm like, hey, still want the bike, bike is dope. Running into this weird idling issue and obviously before I buy it, I wanna get that stuff figured out. So Triumph's like, you know what? Take it to spots A or B and uh, they will get it worked out for you all on our dime, uh, no problems, no, no questions asked. So, uh, what I have to do today is, unfortunately, send the Triumph off to uh, a place called Hourglass Cycles. They're, I think, like an hour, hour and a half. They're in kind of like North Georgia. They're one of the closest Triumph dealers uh, to Atlanta. So, I'm going to get the bike on the trailer. I'm getting full use out of that motorcycle trailer that I have. Uh, we're going to take it up there, drop it off with them and uh, hopefully they can get the problem figured out. And once they get the problem figured out, I will then have a running awesome 2017 Daytona 675R. Also, 
The reason I haven't been riding this thing is because to purchase the motorcycle, I had to take the tag off and send that in with a check and all that kind of stuff. So the bike hasn't had a tag for a while. So if you're curious why you haven't seen me riding the bike in the meantime, uh, that's why. She's literally just sitting here being very pretty and can't be ridden, which is pretty, uh, pretty freaking catastrophic. Look at you, just sit here and no freaking tag. I can do that now because now I own it. Isn't that cool? I can I can just be like, uh, I can treat you however I want. I'm just kidding, don't don't break. So I've been getting a lot of questions, people being like, Chase, you've had the Daytona for a while now. Why aren't you modding it? What the hell, bro? Don't worry, bro Cephas. I got you. So the reason I haven't modded the Triumph Daytona 675R is because I've got a big project I'm working on with it. I want to do this kind of really high production, long term video. You know, I've had the bike for I think almost a year now and I want to do like a year with a Daytona 675R video. So it's got a lot of production value into it, it's going to take a lot of time to film, but I want to do all that before I start modding it because trust that bike is gonna get modded to shit. Not, not in a bad way, in a, in a really positive way. But anyway, that's all the updates on the Triumph. I'm gonna take it on the trailer. I'm gonna show you guys Hourglass Cycles because it's a pretty legit spot. And uh, we're gonna say goodbye to the Daytona 675R for only a little while. It might take a little longer to get fixed because unfortunately Hourglass Cycles has a mechanic out with like cancer right now, which is, absolutely terrible um i'm also dealing with that on a personal level which is pretty freaking terrible i literally have no other word for it cancer absolutely fucking sucks so that sucks for them so the daytona might be gone for a little longer than uh we'd kind of like but we are in a very lucky situation here thanks to triumph and uh you know other people i have multiple bikes so it's not really that big of a deal and the space will be kind of welcome anyway i've talked a lot Tired of talking, let's show things and get the hell out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Cycles. We're in the back. I was gonna put my crazy new car rig on the uh, let's actually turn this GoPro off. I was actually gonna use my big car rig <laughs> and do a time lapse, but uh, the skies look a little sketch, so I decided not to. Um, all the straps look like they work solidly, so I'm gonna get this bike off here and get it into one of these giant hangar room things. <laughs> in here as well. Ooh. Oh, I bet that's hot as hell. Hot as hell is an understatement. That's it's black, a man. Tasty one. <laughs> oh. It should act totally normal right now. Okay. But when it's warm at, at, at operating temperature. Yeah, so it was, I mean, it was like a pretty hot day. And so basically when you go to start it, it would take a lot longer to And then if it did crank up, it would crank and then instantly shut off. If I didn't give it a shit ton of throttle. The only way I could get around that was when I, when I knew I was coming up to a stop, pull the clutch in and just yeah, give it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> If you guys are Triumph fans and you're in North Georgia, highly recommend Hourglass Cycles. These dudes are down to earth and awesome, and they have an awesome garage. Yeah, you guys we'll got enough bikes in here? My yeah. God. We got through the inspection process first.
just like that, the Daytona 675R is gone for a little while. But I know it's in good hands. Uh, I did a video here back in the day when we were putting the uh, aero exhaust on. If you guys haven't seen that video, there's a mechanic in here. Dope guy, has tons of information. Similar to Brian in the uh, Wreck Bike Rebuild series. Uh, so if you're interested in Triumph stuff, I definitely recommend that video. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, that's about it. It's sad times. My GoPro is still out here, so that's awesome. Didn't even think about... I probably shouldn't have that out here. But yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. I'm going to call it quits here because now I get to drive back in the rain with an empty trailer. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video or you have sympathy for my Daytona 675R, drop a like. It'll be much appreciated. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I make videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And guys, I'm chasing on two wheels, and I'll see you on a, the next video. Hopefully I can ride something next video. I, I feel like I've been talking to the camera. I love talking to you guys and the quality is always so much better when I'm talking like this, but I need to do a riding video. Luckily I'll be doing a first ride. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Bye.